Lanai. Yeah, you could probably. Is this it right if here? Put, if you put enough oh, effort into it, you could make a new country. This is one of the different ones. This is the one of the ones that you catch, right? Or is that one? Uh, yeah, that's that's the booster. So that's the super heavy booster. Uh, so that's the one with the booster's got thirty three engines. Um, that that uh, um, in its you know by, by version four that will have about ten thousand tons of thrust. Um, you know, right now it's about seven eight thousand tons of thrust. Um, but it's, it's, that's the largest flying object ever made. I had to explain to someone. They were going, why do they blow up all the time if you're so smart? Because there, <laughs> there was this fucking idiot on television. Some guy was being interviewed, and they were talking about you. And he goes, oh, I think he's a fuckwit. And he goes, he's a fuckwit. And he goes, why do you say he's a fuck? Oh, his rockets keep blowing up. And someone said, yeah, well, why do his rockets blow? And I had to explain. Yeah. Because it's the only way you find out what the tolerances are. You have yes. to. You have to. You have a to explore the corners of the box. So, so, like, <clears throat> so when you do a, a new uh, rocket development program, um, you, you, have, you have to uh, do what's called uh, you know, exploring the limits, the corners of the box, where you say it's like you, worst case this, worst case that, um, to figure out um, uh, where, where, where the limits are. So uh, you, you blow up. You know, not, 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 admittedly, in the development process, sometimes it blows up accidentally. Um, but but we intentionally subject it to uh, uh, you know a, a flight regime that is much worse than what we expect in normal flight, so that when we put people on board or valuable cargo, it doesn't blow up. 